If you have a Tesla Powerwall installed at your premises, you need to take advantage of the app to allow you to monitor your system production, understand your energy needs, and customize the settings to suit your requirements. G'day, I'm Eddie Springer, Springer Solar. Today, we're gonna to dive into the Tesla monitoring app to allow you to understand and control your system better. When you click on the app, you'll immediately see what the solar system is doing and the overall state of your power wall. This system here, we can see that the solar system is producing 4.3 kilowatts. The house is using 2.4 kilowatts and so we have the excess solar production going into the battery of 1.9 kilowatts. The battery's overall state of charge is 95% and currently we're not exporting any power to the grid and we're not consuming any energy from the grid. Below the overall picture for the site, we can see the energy tab. Under the energy tab, it shows us that the solar system has produced 22.5 kilowatt hours for today. If we were to click on the energy tab, we can see all the various graphs to show solar production, energy consumption, and we'll go into that detail soon. Below the energy tab, we see the impact our solar system is having on our property. Within this impact tab, we'll see various different parameters relating to the household self-sufficiency and energy savings. The last tab is the settings tab, Within this settings tab, you can customize certain parameters of the power wall to suit your needs. So let's dive into the energy tab. Within here, we can change from daily, weekly to monthly to see our overall energy production and usage. There's a little toggle button beside the day and the week that allows us to overlay our system data. So we can have all our parameters selected or only one at a time. We can also see our household consumption, our solar generation, and our overall state of charge usage. The last icon here is the grid. It allows us to see how much we've exported and imported from the grid. If you've got 100% self-sufficiency, you should see that your energy usage from the grid is very low. So today at this site, we can see that the household has used 19.8 kilowatt hours so far. 12.3 kilowatt hours have been provided by solar and 1.8 kilowatt hours from the power wall. We've used 5.7 kilowatt hours from the grid. The battery was obviously depleted after yesterday's usage. So that being Sunday, big usage on the battery and the house has had to draw some energy in from the grid today. This property is a high energy consumer, so the battery is fully discharged and depleted every single day. Now let's click on the impact tab. Within here, we see how much the home is self-powered. We have different percentages in here for solar, power wall, and grid. Within this self-powered tab, we can see 39% of the energy for the property is being provided by solar, 13% by power wall, and 48% from grid. That is for Sunday. We can change the day to see the different percentages for each day. We can also see our energy value, so our estimated energy savings in dollars. And we see our solar offset. Solar offset shown as a graph, total generation from solar, and total consumption from the household. Right down the bottom, we can see our backup history. So if the household had experienced a grid outage, we would see the number of times the property had to be backed up and the total number of hours required. We can also see recent events in here. So uh, recent blackout events and things uh, associated to grid outages. This property is within a stable grid area. So the last outage was on the 18th of December, 2022 for up to an hour. The final tab is the settings tab. Let's have a look at what we can change in here now. So within the settings tab, the first line item is the power wall depth of discharge or self-powered percentage. This can be adjusted to suit your backup needs. A property that had a really high need for backup, we would adjust that percentage up to ensure the battery's always got plenty of state of charge to overcome any grid outage. 
This property has an 85% self-powered percentage with a 15% backup or 15% reserve. This can be adjusted and changed to suit your needs. You could also do time-based control within this tab. This is something you would do if you're on a time of use tariff where you wanted to discharge the battery in peak periods and charge it back up in off peak or, or low uh, cost energy overnight. Only to be done in time of use tariff uh, from your retailer. You shouldn't be using this when you're on a general flat rate. The next tab within here is the EV charging tab. Within here we can see the energy we want to charge to our vehicle when we're in a grid outage. You can adjust this by sliding the scale. This vehicle and this site is set up for an 80% home use and 20% share to vehicle when you're in a grid outage. The next tab is Stormwatch. Our Stormwatch is on and enabled on this phone. Stormwatch will be enabled by Tesla in the event that they forecast an extreme weather event or an extreme event in your area. Stormwatch will turn on, which will ensure your battery is charged from the grid or from any means possible so that you have 100% state of charge ready for that extreme event or outage. We also have in here the utility rate plan. Within here, we can set our tariffs for your energy buy rate and also your solar export tariff. By setting these correctly, it means that all those other parameters we looked at where we're looking at the energy for the day and the dollars per day that the system is saving, it allows that data to be accurate. So make sure you're setting your import and export tariffs within this parameter. Having a Tesla Powerwall installed at your property is an excellent way to maximize your solar self-consumption and utilize your solar system to best suit your needs. Not only are Tesla Powerwalls super sexy, they also allow you to harvest all your solar energy and store it for overnight usage. Understanding the monitoring app will allow you to maximize this energy storage and self-consumption. You wanna get the most out of your Tesla Powerwall, you need to understand how to use the app. I hope this short video has allowed you to understand your system better and utilize the Tesla monitoring app if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much for your time.